Hey everyone, how's it going? Blue Orc 2792 here, here to continue my let's play of Warcraft 3 Cousin Campaign, Jeopardy for the Horde. And moving to chapter 2, Kalimdor. Under Thrall's leadership, the Horde successfully reunited with the remaining Orc settlements. Using the human ships, they immediately began to set forth to the mysterious continent of Kalimdor. After weeks of sailing the Great Sea, the Horde had finally landed on the shores of their new home. Oh yeah, there's like, forgot about this, uh, choose difficulty. Basically if you want to do it hard or normal. I'm, I'm just gonna go normal. Ooh, there's a troll. Apparently they, uh, this cousin campaign also basically includes, uh, the Exodus for the Horde, uh, part of the original Warcraft campaign, where as you're basically sailing off to Kalimdor, well, not really you, Thrall's sailing off to Kalimdor, he had to make a quick stop on some nearby islands to get, like, you know, some wood to repair the, for the ships and some more food because they were getting a little hungry. They, they just need a look regard no call. and basically he just needs to head to on the mainland because I think some of them were getting seasick Your time has come. but uh, what they didn't expect was to meet up with uh, these island trolls and these are no ordinary island trolls these are these are trolls of who are members of the dark what spear tribe the spirits are restless oh huh I forgot to give Grom For this. Honor, I can wait no longer. <laughs> I am the oh, that's a mistake on my part. Anyways, uh, basically the trolls agreed to help the orcs out because the humans were basically hot on the orcs trail and they also want to also wipe out the trolls too because if it's not a human, elf, dwarf, or gnome, it deserves to die according to the friggin alliance. But as they beat back the humans, uh, a bunch of like mutated fish people called the Murlocs appeared from the sea and took the orcs and the trolls prisoners. And the plan for the Murloc was to be sacrificed to some yes. spirit called the Sea Witch. Thrall wasn't having any of that and broke everyone out, including the trolls, and yeah. they. And with the cooperation with the orcs and trolls, they uh, escaped from the islands and continue sailing west to Kalimdor. And agreed to help the trolls out to finding a new home where they never have to fear the humans or the murlocs ever again. Look, Naruto. So for any orc player, you always have to have like a troll headhunter, because seriously, the trolls do unbelievable amount of damage. I am the war chief. I mean, just 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 look at those numbers. I mean, I know it might not seem like big, but in the Warcraft three game, that's a pretty damn big number. Let's get on with it. Hmm. And. You can upgrade them to increase to, to increase their damage, which means the spirits are rest. There's a couple of these, and you can basically handle honor. practically anything. Yes. No regard, no. But granted, the. These trolls do have like low health and almost no armor. So if you just get into like a, if you get a troll into a melee combat, it it will not survive. For honor. So you always have your headhunters be at the rear of the army, just throwing their spears with deadly force and precision. No god, no god, war chief. Whatever you Those spirits say. are restless. Up. 
Oh, sweet reinforcements. Come, War Chief. We knew you'd find us. Time has come. None will survive. For Doomhammer! Yes. Dub. None will survive. And make sure to get that rune. The spirits are restless. Yes. For honor. Let's see, have I explored everywhere around here? Yeah, I, I explored everywhere around here. For the horde. Huh. Finally. I'll consider it. The spirits are restless. Yeah. Hmm. You said it, Grom. And allow me to introduce you to basically some of the biggest douchebags in Kalimdor. The Centaurs. And basically if you want to imagine a friggin' pain in the ass, these are them. Look regard, no God. Though granted, they do kind of represent like a whole Mongol theme pretty nicely since, you know, they're centaurs and Mongols are basically best the known for like having master Master Horseman, be able to pull off all kinds of crazy maneuvers. What do you want? Oh, pull this grunt back. I am the oh, how the hell did he get so low health? The spirits are restless. Look, Naruto. None will survive. Yes. But yeah, basically they just raid, pillage, and plunder. They don't really... They don't really have like any organization or any like cohesive yes. unit. They, they just... Basically, they're basically like, they're bandits. That's what I'm basically <laughs> meaning to say. They're basically like bandits. They charge in, take what, uh, steal what they can, and just leave. And without even so much as a thank you. That, that, that's just rude right there. Not even a thank you. <laughs> I can wait no longer. Let's get on with it. Huh? Master? War Chief. I'll consider. Look regard, no call. Yes. Dabu. For honor. Finally, the spirits are restless. Hey, Ooh. War Chief, how may we serve you? Your time has come. You can serve me by kicking some ass. I can wait no longer. Oh, sweet. Sturdy war axe. I'll consider it. I'll make Grom even more deadlier. Whatever you say. Yes. Oh, scroll of healing. That's exactly what I need for my men. Yes. Let's get on with it. I can wait no longer. Look regard, no God. For honor. Understood. Damn it, purge didn't work. I was hoping uh, 
Purge is basically a shaman spell, and what I thought it would do was basically get rid of the poison that that one of those stupid fish people planted on all my men. But apparently that didn't work. It only works on like magical uh, buffs and debuffs. Oh, and also does like excellent right damage against like a summon unit. And basically a summon unit would be something Warlord, like, say, throw, summon some two spirit wolves. That's a, got like two spirit wolves to fight for them. That's a summon. Basically anything with a time limit. Yes. For honor. Logrigan. Chieftain, this wreck has been abandoned for quite some time. Perhaps the crew has survived and is around here someplace. Let's hope so, Grunt. Or let's hope so, my warrior, I meant to say. Dumb. Otherwise, we're gonna be short a few people. Yeah. And Oh, buff also reduces the movement speed. I also I forgot to mention that. Oh, there's our people. Oh, those friggin' thieving a-holes. None will survive. Let's get on with it. What you want? The spirits are restless. Look, Narosh! Okay, so basically, because those stupid centaurs and quill boars uh, yeah that's the name of the pigmen quill boars basically because they stole our stuff yeah. so now we gotta go and get it back but without it we can't make a settlement hmm. Oh sweet, I got healing wards. Let's get on with it. For honor, say the healing wards are basically like the one of the best things you can get in Warcraft 3. And I'll show you why in a little bit. The spirits are restless. Yes, Chieftain. Let's get on with it. And right there. Yeah. Yeah, see, healing ward does is basically heals everything around it in a in a radius. I am the war chief. Dabu. Yes. Let's go get the some yes. gold and the bundle of lumber. Let's get on with it. But I only have like two more of these, so I have used them wisely. Yes. Get, get those trolls out of there. And... Wait, hold on. Will it make it? Oh... Crap, probably didn't have that one. 
dumb of intelligence. Say the word. Small move. Okay, that, uh, not, not, not too bad, not too bad. Oh, hey. Hey, there's a Torn. I can wait. Now, Torn is an orc's best friend. Literally. And I'll, I'll explain it to you in, uh, later on in this video. Actually, you know what? Screw it. I'll, I'll explain it right now. Basically, when the in the original Warcraft um, three actual campaign, uh, when the orcs made landfall, they again also encountered the centaurs and the quill boars, but they also encountered the torns who were fighting against the centaurs and quill boars. And so, after Thrall got all of his people out of their boats, we were able to rejoin each other once again. Because like in this mission, they were all scat- all the boats were scattered, so they I basically the were basically trying to fend for themselves. Let's get on. But as basically Thrall rallied the Horde once again, and be beat off a centaur invasion, Karen, uh, the leader of the Bloodhoof Torns, uh, came to them and basically Dumb. was like, hey, if you need any help, I'll be able to help you out in any way I can. And Thrall basically asked, like, direction for, like, the oracle that he kept seeing in his vision, which, which I had told him to oh sail God. to Kalimdor in the first place. Kira was pointing to Oracle, saying, like, the oracle is north of here in a place called Stone Talon Peak. Let's get but Thrall w mentioned that there was an army of the centaurs heading north, and unfortunately, they were marching towards Karen Bloodhoof's village. So Thrall and Karen made a partnership to defend each other against this centaur threat. The spirits and made sure that the Torns were able to get the resources they need and be able to make a more permanent home for themselves and never have to fear the centaurs ever again. In exchange, the Torns uh, uh, helped out the orcs in reaching Stone Talon yes. Peak from the threats like the Harpies and some humans who decided to sail west was also a good idea. And after that, the, basically the, the brotherhood between the what Orcs, the Trolls, and the Torrens basically Let's stayed go. together. For honor. Take that, you stupid fish people. I am Nobody likes you. Hmm. Yes. None will survive. Maybe you weren't being stopped being such <laughs> Sorry about that. But yeah, basically if you just stop, you know, stealing None and trapping people and taking them against their will and sacrificing them to stupid Spirits, maybe, maybe you'll be in a better place, For or basically you'll be in a better situation. But they do have a habit of doing that, like all the damn time, even in Warcraft, the original Warcraft universe. For honor, yes. For honor. But yeah, I'm gonna go help help this uh, Torn out. Let's see, he said he lost the artifact. Don't know where the artifact is, but I'll, I'll help him out any way I can. Okay, get the raider out of- Oh! I am 
Damn. There goes the only guy that actually capture the air units and bring them down so my grunt and grom can beat beat on them oh hey healing self the spirits are restless I'll consider it finally Oh, there's the uh, last uh, lost cargo. But I'm gonna save that for last, cause I promised the Torn I'd help him out. Huh? The spirits are Come, risen. sisters. It's been too long since we feasted on Outlander flesh. Oh, damn it! They put the shaman to sleep. Oh, yes, that's an important no item. Regard, no hmm. For honor, Dub, I can wait no longer. I am the war chief. Finally, I'll consider it. See, uh, 45 what seconds. Who you want me to kill? Eh, they're good. Yes. Hmm. For honor. For the whore. Yes. Yep, don't I have. Oh, crap. My guys are. Oh crap, my guys are getting killed. Well, that could have gone better oh for me and my guys. Hmm. Probably if I hadn't got my for raider honor. killed. Yes. For honor. Dub. But 
I don't think it's gonna really matter that much because once I complete my other objective, I'll be able to make a base and get some more headhunters and I should be okay. See, I got Potion of Restoration. For honor. Hmm. Alright, and go get that last... Hold on. No Ground probably gonna need that. Get the last of the cargo. And head back to that good spot where we can make a base. And from this building, the War Mill, I'll be able to research upgrades for my units. And I have a barrack to train more units. And some nice orc burrows. Which to protect my peons, which are these guys. So they don't get killed and my economy can still flourish. Also get the steel range weapon. For get the range weapon upgrade and save armor for last. The spirits are restless. Dangerous for Surti. Let's get on with it. I got nothing else to do or nowhere else to explore. We need more gold. Oh, thank you for reminding me that. I am the war chief. Yes. What you want me to do? Once I get like two more headhunters, I'll be able to move out and deal with the anything that comes that comes at my way. Dangerous for Surti. Who you want me kill? Master? Look regard, Nokal. War chief. Let's get on with it. Dangerous for Surti. I am we are. the war chief. And move out. Search complete for honor. Yes, for honor. Hmm. Huh. Yes. Well, the village seems to be for honor in trouble. None will survive. Hmm. Oh, there's the torns. For honor. And they're the my favorite torn around, Karen Bloodhoof. Ish, ish now low porta, cared blood hoof. Yeah, those centaurs are basically a pain in everyone's ass around here.
and they seem to be on the attack and intent on wiping the Torns out. Well, I'm not about to let that happen. Uh, yeah, defend your village, Karen. We'll take care of the centaurs for you. The are risking. Your time but first, let's see what's in these crates. Oh sweet, they gained they gained a level. Uh, I'm gonna go learn Feral Spirit. Uh, I'm gonna give him more cleave. Ooh, enchanted shield. Stand and fight, my brethren. Ooh, increase the hero's armor by two and gives them hit yes. points. Your time has come. War chief, let's get on with it. I I am. We're not the grunt. But don't worry, I got many more they came from. Be because like any good orc, the grunts are really good at melee. Look, the only thing that can possibly go toe-to-toe -to -toe with the... Well, actually not go toe-to-toe, -to -toe, but can beat an orc grunt in combat is a torn. Yeah. Centaur have returned. We're under attack. See, Rune of Spirit Link. Oh, oh get that. And show them who's boss. Yeah. Quick, open up and see if there's anything useful we can find. The spirits are resting. The marauders attack again. Stand and fight, my brethren. And down goes the con. Yeah, that's what that big guy was. He was a centaur con. We saved a tribe, kicked some ass, and became heroes. I think that's a good way to start your day. And apparently in this custom campaign, Thrall's Horde isn't the only orcs to reach Kalimdor. In fact, there's a town called Santrin. And apparently they already have like a good alliance with the Torns. So apparently, according to Karen, they might be in trouble. So it's up to us to save them.
Yeah, and basically the centaurs are the least of our problems. Especially from right here of the night elves. And if you remember my um, Let's Play of Dawn of War Retribution when I made like a big rant about the Eldar. Night elves are basically them paint with purple instead of making their skins purple and they worship nature, literally. But everything else is basically the same. Well, except the fact they use bows and arrows instead of like, you know, guns and mechs. But don't worry, apparently Thrall and gonna attack the team up with Cairn, they're gonna head over to Santrin and see if if Santrin's in trouble. All the while Grom basically stays on basically guards the settlement they already have. And hopefully we might be able to, to kick some more ass. So anyways, uh, that was the second mission. I hope you people enjoyed it. If you did, feel free to subscribe. And I will see you all next time.